good day to you, children of God. Welcome to today's Seed Time and Harvest Broadcast. So blessed and privileged to have another opportunity to come and speak life to each of you today. Certainly pray that your day is blessed and that you're highly favored in the name of the Lord Jesus. There sometimes we don't realize how blessed we really are. And so if you're listening to this broadcast, then you are truly, truly blessed and you ought to be able to acknowledge God and by saying thank you this day. Today I want to talk with you about navigating through life. Navigating through life. I want to talk about at least seven points that may help you as you are living out your day today, as you, by the grace of God, live out your days tomorrow and for many, many years to come. Uh, hopefully these little steps will be something that you or rules as you would say will help you to navigate your way through life's challenges life circumstances your ups and downs that we all experience in life days can change in an instant and so let's listen to some of these seven rules uh, that I want to give you today for life rule number one let it go. And when we talk about let it go, we're talking to the fact that you should never ruin a good day by thinking about a bad yesterday. So let it go. I don't know what it is that maybe you may be holding on to. Maybe someone uh, said something negative to you. Perhaps you got news that you lost your job or you'll be losing your job or that your um, car is broken down or your bank account is non-sufficient funds and but today is a brand new day so let's not ruin this day by thinking about a bad yesterday the second rule for navigating through life is no ignore them number two ignore them and when we talk about ignoring them we're talking about the fact of don't listen to other people that you need to learn to live a life that's empowering to you. Many people will try to steal your joy, steal your dreams, cause you to be discouraged and turn back. So as you think about the second rule for navigating life, simply ignore them, children of God. Press on into the things that God has called and, and destined you for, the things that you're believing for. Don't let anyone talk you out of things that you feel you can accomplish, simply ignore them. A third rule for navigating through life is give it time. And some may disagree with this, but in most cases, time heals everything. It may not completely deal with all of the trauma that you may have experienced per se, such as grief, but in time, the grief lessens and you're still able to function. Some of you may be experiencing a very difficult time now. May have received bad news or may have a, a relationship break up. God forbid, a death of a dear loved one. Or maybe you've experienced it over the past year. And it's still sometimes hard to get over it, to function. You still may shed a tear every now and then. That's perfectly normal. And don't think that you're um, waiting too long, that you should be over it by now. Don't let everyone ever make you feel that way. Take as much time as you need, for time heals everything. That's my third rule that I'd like to give you today for navigating through life. A fourth rule I'd like to give you is don't compare. And the reason why you should not compare is because you're the only person you should try to beat. It's the person that you were yesterday. That means that no matter how you lived, no matter how good you were or how bad you think you were, don't compare yourself to other people. Don't, don't even compare yourself to who you were yesterday. Because as you navigate your way through life, you will get new times, new days, new opportunities to excel, new opportunities to succeed, new opportunities to grow, 
to become better, to be a better version of yourself. So again, my fourth rule for navigating through life is don't compare because the only person you should try to beat is the person you were yesterday. Number five, my fifth rule for navigating through life is stay calm. It's okay not to have everything figured out. Just know that in time, you will get there. So don't panic, don't become anxious, don't give up, don't quit, stay calm. That's my fifth rule for navigating through life. Number six, it's on you. Only you are in charge of your happiness. It's not about how someone else treats you, what somebody else says about you, other people's opinions of you. It's on you. Don't allow people to give you a false self image of who you really are based on their opinion of you. So people will say things that are good. Sometimes people may say things that's negative about you. Some people may encourage you that you can. Some people will tell you you can't. But I want you to know, as a sixth rule for navigating through life, it's on you. Because you are the only person in charge of your happiness. And the seventh and final rule I'd like to give you today for navigating through life is smile. And I want you to smile because life is short. Enjoy it while you have it. Now, I've had many family members and young people in my family who didn't reach the age of 40. So most of us think that we're gonna live to grow old and be old wise people and have a good long life. It is not always the case. If you do have a great and longevity, then that's, that's great. But today is the only day that you're promised. So smile. You can listen to a joke. You can tell a joke to yourself. You can think about something in your past or present or maybe something in your future that brings a smile to your face. So do that and remember that life is short and that you need to enjoy it while you can. So today I've given you seven rules for navigating through life. Let me recap for you. Number one, let it go. And by that we mean never ruin a good day by thinking about a bad yesterday. Number two, ignore them. Don't listen to other people. Live a life that is empowering to you. Number three, give it time. Well, because time heals everything. Number four, don't compare because the only person you should try to beat is the person you were yesterday. Number five, it's okay not to have everything figured out. Know that in time, you will get there. Number six, it's on you because only you are in charge of your own happiness. And number seven, I want you to do this as we talk about this one. I want you to smile because life is short and you need to enjoy it while you have it. So there it is, children of God. Today we've talked about seven rules for navigating through life. I pray that God will empower you to be able to embrace and activate these rules in your life so that you can live to the fullness of all that God has designed and purpose for you. God bless and prosper you today as you navigate through life.